Now, we always have these debates about how woke sport can become, whether politics should be interconnected with sport. Let's just deal with the reality. There are some sports that are openly saying from day one, at the start of every season, you know what? We are as political as we are a sporting organisation. And the AFL is doing that before their season has even started. Now, we know they're all in on yes. There's a different round for everything you can possibly imagine. And in the AFLW, remember, there was the team that literally had a logo for all of the 70-something genders, right? So super woke. But the boss, or the outgoing boss of the AFL, has said this. We lead the community on social issues. And those who yell at us to stick to football don't understand who we are what we mean to the community. Don't lecture or tell others what to do. We simply say, everyone in this country, that we represent you or we aspire to represent you. So they're telling you up front. So it's a fair point. If the AFL is telling you up front, this is what we are, and you continue to watch it and support it, well, then guess what? You can't whinge when it gets too political. So for most people, they will watch it. But if you are somebody who gets annoyed when sport gets political, the only way you can send a message to the sport is to say, you know what, I'm sitting it out for a few weeks. I'm sitting it out for a few rounds. But if you keep turning up, then guess what happens? Nothing changes. My assumption is, is that because the sport is so good, because the coverage is so amazing, and it is, you'll watch it. But be grinding your teeth when you do so. If that's the case, the AFL just doesn't care.